Hello, Wong. First and foremost, I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Also, I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring this work for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And also, I want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect which consists of men, women, and children that are listening to these videos and that are serving the Lord to the best of their ability, I want to say Shalom. All right, so I'm coming back with another quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashan al Shai. All right, Lord will, this lesson is edifying. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 31, it reads, And they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passes away. Okay, and the fashion of this world is getting ready to pass away. Okay, and that's what we're... And that's what we're highly anticipating. That's the, that's what we waiting on. We 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 we're hastening the day of the Lord, okay? Because this world right now is being ruled in wickedness, okay? Job nine to twenty four. The earth is given to the hand of the wicked, okay? We're 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 uh we're constantly being oppressed, right? Uh, Jake, so so called black Hispanic Native Americans, we're constantly getting shot down in the streets, okay? Uh, Haggai one and six. Uh, our, our, our bag got holes in it. You know, we're working all these long hours, okay, just to, just to pay some bills, just to be able to, to get by, okay? And that's why, and that's why the, uh, the fact, well, we're, we're waiting on the fashion of this world to pass away. But two thirds of our people, that's all they know is, is, is this world. That's all, that's all they know is, uh, is, is being under, the, is being under the foot of, of our oppressors going to the enemies for the one of all things. That's all, that's all, uh, the black Hispanic Americans know. Okay. So, uh, when you tell them that, uh, we, when we mention the kingdom of heaven, all right, when we tell them that, that, that we never going to have to work again. When we tell them that, that, that we're going to have land, we're going to have cattle, we're going to have resources, we're going to have money. Israel think that's a fairy tale. Okay, but Israel, they go out, they, 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 they celebrate Thanksgiving, they uh, celebrate Easter, they celebrate uh, Christmas, because uh, the two-thirds of our people, the Lord has spiritually blinded the, 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 the two-thirds, okay, so that's all they see is this world, okay, but, but, the, uh, but the elect, hey, we're, we're visionaries, all right, we're envisioning, we're envisioning uh, the, uh, the, the kingdom being ruled in righteousness, All right, but um, let me go to Jeremiah. You know, just going through some scriptures that was on my spirit. All right, Lord will, this lesson is edifying. This is Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 31. It reads, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Okay, so the house of Israel and the house of Judah, that represents the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. All right. The Lord is getting ready to make a new covenant with us. All right. Beginning with the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay. And, it's, and it reads with the house of Jude, I mean, with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the, by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant, they break. You see, and we we broke uh, the the first covenant with with, with, with Yahweh by Shema was shy, all right. And, and 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 one of the reasons why why we can't keep the law perfect is because we 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 are in the chains of darkness. All right, we're in this flesh. All right, this flesh is designed to go off. All right, and that's why we need Yahweh Shai. All right, we need we need His sacrifice. We need His 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 blood to to cover over us. All right, keep going, and um, it reads, but this, but this, oh, it. All, all, although I was a husband unto them, saith the Lord, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord, Yahweh, I will put my laws in their inward parts, okay, the laws are going to be built, I mean, the laws is going to be put into our inward parts, okay, just like how we breathe, and, 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 and exhale uh, without even thinking about it. That's how the law is going to be. The law is going to be sealed in our inner parts. 
And that's how you know that we ain't under the, the new covenant. Israel still uh, calling on false gods. Israel still transgressing the law. You got Jake out here smoking weed, dying their hair, uh, uh, have dreadlocks. So this is this is obvi obviously we are not in the new commandment. You know these bugged out Christians. You know that that's what they say. Or the old the old uh, testament is dealt, done away with. The, uh, the we we're in the new covenant now. All right, we was in the new covenant. We we wouldn't. We, uh, Esau still wouldn't be in rulership. All right, let's keep going. I will put their laws in their inward parts and write it in their hearts. The Lord is going to write it in our minds. Okay, so hey, it's going to be like breathing. It's going to be like second nature. All right, keeping the laws. All right, because Romans six and twenty three tell us for the uh, wages of sin is death. Okay, and that's why you see Jake getting gunned down in the streets. That's why you see uh, F uh, Floyd, uh, George Floyd, and, and, and uh, Trayvon Martin. You know, all these so-called tragedies. Okay, because the wages of sin is death. And it says, and will be their power, and they shall be my people. Verse 34, and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor. See, we ain't got to teach. Uh, we ain't got to teach uh, uh, another Israelite to keep the law of touch commandments. All right, uh, because the law is going to be still in our inward parts. We're not going to, not going to tell Jake that um, to just stop calling on Jesus Christ. You're not going to have to tell Jake, hey, put down that blunt. All right, because the laws is going to be uh, put in our inward parts. All right, and it's, it says, and write it in their hearts and will be their power and they shall be my people. Oh, Slocky, I read that. Slocky, verse 34. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, know the Lord. You see, we ain't got to do all that. For they shall all know me, all right, from the least of them unto the, unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord. All right, so the least Israelite in the kingdom to the greatest uh, Israelite. They're all going to know the, the law of such commandments. We're all going to be righteous. Okay, so this, this is obviously we're not in, this, in, 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 in the new covenant. All right? And keep going. It says, for I will forgive their iniquity and they and I will remember their sins no more. All right, starting with the elect. All right, because an elect on this side, uh, Lord willing to be that number, our sins are going to be thrown into the depths of the sea. All right, the two thirds, they're going to they're, they're gonna have to receive death by pain. OK, but at the end of the day, all Israel is going to be saved. The, the elect and the two thirds, the two thirds are going to come back in the kingdom. The law is going to be written in their inner parts. Okay, well, we're all going to be perfect. Okay, so this is the this is that gospel. This is that good news. All right, R whether you be a two third or not, all Israel is going to be saved. All right, we're all going to be blessed. Okay, the least Israelite is going to be is going to have far. He's going to be far much richer than than the than the uh, richest Edomite on this side. Okay. Um. I had another scripture. Let me go to uh, Revelation. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 4. And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Hey, Israel, we're not going to be crying no more. All right? O only tears we're going to cry is tears of joy. Okay? But you ain't got to worry about uh, uh, your woman uh, slept with another man and, 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 and you crying now. You're not got to worry about... Uh, your, 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 your family members um, getting put to death and, and, and you crying about it. You know, we're going to live forever and ever. And this is what we, this was, this is what we're waiting for. All right, we're waiting for that new heaven and that new earth. Okay, and it reads, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. See, hey, when you get 30, all right, when you get into your older age, your back start hurting, your knees start hurting, you know, your ankles, you know, you get arthritis, you know, you get cataracts in your eyes. But well, we ain't got to worry about that no more. All right. And it says, for the former things are passed away. Man, because the Lord, he going to give it. We're going to receive those new bodies. All right. Everlasting bodies. All right. We're going to be immortal. 
All right. Verse five. And he that sat upon the throne said, behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, right. For these words are true and faithful. These words are true and faithful. All right. And the, 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 the words of Yahweh Bashim al is not going to go out void. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Okay, we got all these blessings waiting upon us. All right? And um, I'm going to close out with one last scripture. All right? This is Colossians chapter 3. In verse 2, it reads, Set your affections on things above. Set your affections on... On the things above, such as uh, uh, Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye the kingdom of heaven. Hey, Amen. This is what we need to be uh, talking about. This is what we need to be uh, thinking about. All right. Not the thing that's on this earth that's going to get destroyed. But let me keep reading that. And it says, set your affections on things above, not the things on this earth. Because the things on this earth is temporal. The things on this earth will be destroyed. All right, the, the uh, Malachi 4 and 1. All right, this place is going to burn as an oven. All right, and it's not going to leave neither root nor branch. Ain't nothing going to be left here. All right, your cars, your uh, your um, your clothes, all right, your houses, you know, your land. All right, you know, all these uh, records that, that, that these celebrities you know, like LeBron James and Michael Jordan, all these records that they broke in this place, all that shit going to be passed away. All right? So you need to be setting your affections on the things above. All right? Uh, meditating on the law day and night. All right? This is what we need to think about. All right? Because the, this world is... is, is, is you, see, you see what's going on throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, you got up wars, other people, earthquakes in diverse places. You hear about these famines. You hear about these truck, uh, these truck drivers going on strike. All right, it's going to be all hell breaking loose. All right, it's going to be martial law patrolling these streets. All right, and, 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 and you need to be seeking your help by your outside. You know, let, let me close out with one more. All right. This is Matthew chapter 6 and 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. All right? That's what we need to be uh, doing. We need to be seeking the kingdom first. All right? Speaking first and foremost to myself. All right? We got we to, you know, be on top of reading. You know, be on top of watching our videos. Be on top of studying. You know, because this wisdom and knowledge is going to keep us stable in, the, in, 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 these, in these times. And these times that's 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 approaching fastly. All right. So Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, and I'm gonna close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakwadash. Also, I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the hundred and forty-four thousand men that are laboring this work for the sake of Yahweh Bahashem Al Shai. And also want to say shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are part of that great multitude that are listening to these videos and that serving the Lord to the best of their ability. The water y'all by Shemel Shai for putting the spirit on to make this lesson. All right, Lord willing to the next lesson, say shalom and a ball, a ball, shalom.